This cohort is actually very unique. Unlike the other two groups of students studying to become CHWs, these students enter the program with significant college credits and in some cases degrees. As a result, CSI was able to create an accelerated version of the program that allowed these students to complete the program quicker than the regular student who enters the program with little to no exposure to higher education while still preserving the efficacy of the program itself. I've worked at Richmond University Medical Center for over 25 years. I'm currently working in the West Brighton Clinic Health Department as a community health worker. This course has greatly enhanced my role as a community health worker. I have developed skills such as motivational interviewing, cultural competency, interpersonal skills, health literacy, and critical thinking skills. As health policies, research, and practices are becoming increasingly focused on improving the health of populations and addressing social determinants of health, community health workers may be just what a doctor ordered. I currently work as a community health worker in emergency room department. Um, some of you may not know that before coming to coordinated care department, I work as a mental health technician in Bailey Seaton Hospital. Thankfully, with the help of this rep 1199 and Richmond University Medical Center, I was placed in coordinated care as a community health worker. I am able to apply what I learn in training at work every day. When I talk with patients now, I spend the time really listening to what is being said, maintaining eye contact and encouraging them with my words. I know that in my role, I can make positive change happen. These five individuals, all employed in various roles at Rumsey, completed the first accelerated CHW training program at the College of Staten Island. Some of you are already performing this role as CHWs, and others, as a result of this credential, are in the pipeline to fill future roles within your organization. I admire you all for your ability to attain this credential at an accelerated pace. That is not a small feat. Community health workers will change Staten Island one individual at a time. Their work will not only impact the individuals that they are caring for, but the greater Staten Island community as well. So I want to thank you all for not only your successful completion of this program, but what you are going to be doing as you serve our community as a whole. So thank you to our students who've completed this program. The point of my commentary is that people locally, regionally, and nationally are interested in this program and your success. And for that, you should be very proud. I have no doubt that your professional journey will continue, and we hope that CSI will always be a partner in advancing your continued success. The Staten Island PPS has developed a strong partnership with the college over the past two and a half years. The PPS has funded scholarships, new certificate training programs like the CHW and care management. We've helped develop the curriculum for the new MS in healthcare administration, and we have more in development. We have just started to scratch the surface. Tomorrow, each of you will enter the workforce with a new set of skills. You have been trained in these new skills because healthcare itself is changing. The entire industry is moving from fee for service where a provider is paid for a list of services provided to a patient. In the new world, we're moving into what is called value-based pay. Value-based pay means that patients must receive the right care at the right time, at the right place, for the right price. A major goal of value-based pay is to avoid unnecessary emergency room visits. How can we make this happen? Patient education is a major component. On Staten Island, we have seen an increase in the development of jobs like the CHW. And CHWs will engage patients and alert them to what are the appropriate healthcare resources in the community. In the value-based pay world, organizations will be rewarded for connected care, bringing together primary care and other providers like hospitals, nursing homes, and clinics to manage the care of the entire patient. Again, the community health worker can serve as a vital link in helping create this coordination of care between many different organizations who in the past were competitors. On the other hand, those organizations who cannot help coordinate care 
and aligned patient needs with the right resources may suffer funding reductions. So again, congratulations on this important step in your career. On behalf of the Staten Island PPS and our partners at CSI and Dolores Chase, who is my partner with the TEF, you all should feel proud of what you've accomplished this evening and look forward to the important role you'll be playing in helping to shape patient care going forward. The CHW is a new evolving title in healthcare. It's springing up across the country. It is considered a new and vital position to help us get from fee-for-service to value-based pay. So again, congratulations to all of you, and thank you for the time you've put into this. Um, but higher education obviously is very, very important in accomplishing your life goals. And at CSI, where I hope you will be continuing your education, um, you'll have a very different experience as a college student than in the accelerated program. Even in our shortest degree programs of two years for an associate, sometimes that can feel a really long haul. And there's a very different kind of campus environment here uh, at Willowbrook than at Merrill. Um, and sometimes it can seem an unfriendly bureaucracy, but I think that we have a tremendous number of caring faculty, staff, and administrators, um, and other students to support you in your educational journeys at CSI. Um, and I really, um, again, congratulate you and welcome you to the CSI family of alumni. I am proud to say my experience taking the CHW course has empowered my ability to think and interact with multitude of people and different problems. I just am so appreciative to have gone through this class. It was just a wonderful experience from beginning to end. The program was great. Deanna was awesome. Long hours, but we all stuck together and completed the program.